Good morning and welcome to Wake Up With Marcy, a talk show with heart. It's time to dive deep into topics that awaken your mind and inspire your soul. I just want to point out my new studio. I'm so excited. I'd love to hear what you think about it. If you go to wakeupwithmarcy.com, send me an email. I want to hear what you think or touch base with me on Instagram at wakeupwithmarcy. So let's talk about today's guest. We have Dr. Catherine Pace, the brilliant mind behind Haven Pelvic Physical Therapy in Westfield, New Jersey, shedding light on why pelvic floor physical therapy is crucial for women's health and well being. And later, Anchali and Nina, co founders of Kaya Self Care. They are here to introduce us to their travel friendly, refillable skincare essentials for summer. Discover how sustainability meets empowerment in their mission to revolutionize self-care products while making a positive impact on the lives of individuals with intellectual disabilities. Plus, calling all coffee lovers like me, get ready to elevate your morning routine with Coffee Toppers Cold Foam, now available on Amazon. It is made with real dairy and offering five amazing flavors including salted caramel and very vanilla. This cold foam is a game changer for your coffee experience. Now let's jump into some insightful conversations and create positive change in our lives. I now sit down with Dr. Katherine Pates, owner of Haven Pelvic physical therapy in Westfield, New Jersey. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. So first of all, can you tell me exactly what pelvic floor physical therapy is? Yes, I would love to. So if you've ever been to physical therapy before, mm -hmm. it's it's where you go when you hurt a muscle or a ligament. So if you hurt your knee or your ankle, you usually go to physical therapy. Now pelvic floor physical therapy deals with the muscles in your pelvis. And this is a special, <laughs> yeah. these are special muscles. Yeah. Um, and so patients that come to us, they usually are dealing with some kind of pelvic issue. So it might be um, constipation, it might be incontinence, um, it might be pain with sex. Mm -hmm. And so these are kind of sensitive topics and that is what pelvic floor therapy is. So why did you become so passionate about this work? So it actually started with my son. Mm. Um, and when he was a toddler, he was having some issues with going to the bathroom. And I went to at least five or six different pediatricians and they were like, he's okay, mm -hmm. it's just constipation. And something in my heart, in my mama heart said, yeah. something's, something's going on. So I found someone in the city and I realized that he did have an issue. Mm. And he actually needed to have three surgeries wow. instead of just one because it took a year and a half for him to get a diagnosis. And afterwards, he was still kind of dealing with these issues. And then I was like, oh, what is this pelvic floor physical therapy yeah. all about? Yeah. And it helps to manage those symptoms that he was having. And so that's why I'm so passionate about it. So the pelvic floor is the same in a man and a woman? They have pelvic floor muscles. Okay. S most of the muscles are similar. Obviously uh -huh. there's some big differences. <laughs> yes. But they have the same kinds of issues that women have. Okay. And so how does the pelvic floor, like me personally, I had no idea that if you had those types of issues, right. it had something to do with the pelvic floor. Right. So what what can you do and how does the pelvic floor affect any problems you may have when it comes to that? Yes, so a common thing that I will hear is, I have a small bladder mm -hmm. or I just drink too much and that's why when I go to run or I go to cough, yeah. I'll leak a little bit. Right. But it's actually not. It's actually the muscle surrounding the bladder okay. and the actual pelvic floor muscles that hold up the bladder that can be the issue. And that's really easy because you don't need medicine for that. Mm -mm. You know, you don't need, you just need to do the proper exercises and that can really alleviate some of these issues. Right, so, but if you have problems mm -hmm. as a man or a woman or a child, it has to do with constipation, how do you help with that? We have to do an initial evaluation, uh -huh. but usually because these 
organs are housed in the pelvis. Right. The muscles are too tense, okay. they're too tight, okay. or they're too weak. Uh, and so you fix that problem through exercise okay. and it alleviates those issues. That's incredible. Yeah. So let's talk about some of the other issues that you brought up. Mm -hmm. Because it's like sex is can be very painful for women, mm -hmm. especially in menopause. Yes. Right? And so how are you helping with that type of situation? And and how does someone know that if they're having a problem that they need to to address? Like they need to come see you for something like this. So if someone is having painful sex, mm -hmm. they are usually dealing with this problem for years mm -hmm. before they get the courage to tell their GYN or their primary care physician. Mm -hmm. And then what does your doctor say? They might just kind of blow you off. Right. So a lot of women, a lot of patients are finding us because they're Googling. Yeah. They're Googling their issues and yeah. they find, oh my gosh, pelvic floor physical therapy. Yeah. Let me let me try that. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's the same thing. Whatever you're coming in for, we we test out these muscles right. in the hips, in the abdomen, and in your pelvic floor, and we see if there's an issue with the muscles. And right. there usually is. Yeah. We can work in conjunction with your doctor because you might need some medicine, you might need some hormone therapy. Right. But we fix the muscle part of that. So when we're talking about the pelvic floor, mm -hmm. and I mean, what are some things that we can look for that aren't really common? And I'm gonna go back to how do we know when we should be seeking help? If you have any trouble with holding your pee, yeah. with having bowel movements, either because it's difficult for you to have one or it's painful, or if you're having difficulty having sex, mm -hmm. those are the top three reasons and you should be seeking a pelvic floor therapist. Okay, do you yeah. need to go to your doctor to be prescribed or recommended to go to no. you, to a therapist? Okay. No, you don't. So most states in the United States, New Jersey, obviously, being one of them, they have direct access to pelvic, to physical therapy. To physical therapy. So you can yeah. come in without a script from your doctor. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's say someone wants to reach out to you. What's the procedure? They can go on our website and they can fill out a form mm -hmm. about what symptoms they're having, or they can just call the office. Mm. And, and take us through like what a, an initial visit is. Be, I know that you need to have some testing done, right, to see what's going on mm -hmm. and if you are having these muscular issues. So how exactly, what are the tests like? So first of all, all of the therapists at Haven, mm -hmm. we're all public floor therapists. Uh -huh. So we're all very passionate about it. So yeah. when you walk in, it's not like you're walking into a gym yeah. and there's 10 people there. You're walking in and everything is very private. So okay. you walk in, we bring you back into a private room. Everything is really sensitive and, and calm. Mm -hmm. And then we take your history. Yeah. And then we start to put the pieces together because these are things we're hearing all day, right? right? right. Um, and then we, we can do an external evaluation. Mm. And because we're specialists, we can do an internal evaluation to actually test out uh -huh. those pelvic floor muscles. Oh, wow. I mean, I know there's so many people out there that are probably suffering and they don't mm -hmm. even know that there's an answer to their problems. Right, I hear that every day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I bet you do. Mm -hmm. And especially as you know, women and leakage and such, I mean, that's, that's a very common problem. It's so common, and especially postpartum, yeah. and especially women going through menopause, when mm -hmm. it's just such a sensitive time. Yeah. Um, and then being blown off by maybe someone, yeah. like one of your doctors maybe. Right. But no, you can, you can go to a pelvic floor therapist and see, maybe I can get these things handled. Maybe I don't have to have pain every time I try to be intimate with my husband. Right. So it can really be life-changing. It, it sounds like it could be life changing. So, how do we find you and get in touch and ask questions? Do you have a blog? Do you have Facebook? Oh my God, <laughs> probably so many questions. Well, yes, I have an Instagram page, so uh -huh. you can follow me at Pelvic Haven. 
Um, and we are actually just rolling out a new, um, a new program. It's called the Haven iFit program. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people are just doing everything on their phones now. Mm -hmm. So we kind of are melding traditional physical therapy with an app so mm -hmm. that you can do some of your rehab at home. Love it. And you don't have to come to the office every week. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. And what is that called again? It's the Haven iFit program. The Haven iFit program. Okay. And what's the website? Um, havenpelvic.com. Pretty easy. Yeah, that's pretty easy. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on Thank Wake you. Up and educating us. And Thank you. I mean, this is pretty life-saving. So good stuff. Thank, Thank you, you so much. After the break, we meet Anjali and Nina, co-founders of Kaya Self-Care. They join us to introduce their travel-friendly, refillable skincare essentials for summer. We discover how sustainability meets empowerment in their mission to revolutionize self-care products while making a positive impact on the lives of individuals with intellectual disabilities. Plus, calling all coffee lovers, get ready to elevate your morning routine with Coffee Toppers Cold Foam. I am here with the founders of Kaya Self Care. Their offerings are not just about skincare, but also about fostering a deeper connection with oneself and the environment. I'm here with Anjali and Nina. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Hello. So Super wonderful. excited to be here. <laughs> it's so wonderful to have you. So tell us a little bit. You started this company with your mother. Tell us how that came about. Yeah, so we noticed there wasn't a space for my sister to really help her learn and grow. And there wasn't something challenging enough to really help her reach her full potential. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to create that space for her. And that's how we started Kaya. And Kaya actually Jeez. means... Kaya means, in Filipino, it means can do it, you can do it. I like, love can that, can do, do it. it. Yes. Yeah. So tell us the mission of the brand. So our mission is not only to help individuals with intellectual disabilities, like my sister, mm -hmm. learn and grow through making Kaya products and selling Kaya products, yeah. but also providing people with an eco-friendly alternative to your you know, beauty and skincare products. Because I think in the beauty industry, there's a lot of unnecessary one, mm -hmm. uh, waste that yes. we can solve with our Kaya products. So tell us a little bit about your products and what makes your products so different? Yeah, so um, a couple things. One, mm -hmm. they're low waste, like you can see our yeah. cleanser bar, they come in bar form, which eliminates the need for a single use plastic bottle. Uh -huh. But also the ingredients we have are biodegradable, um, we use upcycled, uh, upcycled ingredients. So not only is it good for the earth, but it's also really great for your skin. So tell us about your products and what sets your products apart from others. Yeah, so the main reason why our products are so different and great is we offer a low waste refillable option for people who really like skincare. Mm -hmm. um, so you can refill our lotions, our serum mist, um, but you could also, you know, instead of using a single use plastic bottle for your cleanser, you can um, opt for a cleanser bar. Yeah. And yeah. our products are also great for moisturizing. For example, our body scrubs, which is Nina's favorite. Is that your favorite? <laughs> Yes, it's actually um, really crazy about it. I love yes, that. Yes. And so we've got summer coming up, and we're mm -hmm. talking about it can be really harsh on our skin. So how does your product help us to keep us hydrated, just like as beautiful as you guys are, and your skin is so beautiful? Like, I know I always need help. <laughs> so tell us about the products and what's best for us. Well, um, we recommend that aloe soap because sometimes got burned it's also in a bar form mm -hmm. and a small bar form like you see it right that's now that's wonderful that's what, for the travel yes. so good yes uh -huh. that's what really good so if you have like sensitive skin we have aloe vera made by real aloe mm. and we also have oatmeal yeah. yes 
Oh, oatmeal, oatmeal in the products too. Yes. yes. It's very soothing. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. our matcha made in heaven, that's why we call it matcha made in heaven, is because mm. it's a blend of matcha, ceramide, squalane, shea butter. Mm. So all things that are really going to help repair, yes. soothe, and hydrate your skin, mm -hmm. especially when you're in the sun for so, so long and it's yeah. feeling a little bit dry and maybe like a little itchy from ocean <laughs> water or no, pool no water. Fresh. Exactly. Yeah. And these also, the great thing about, especially our cleanser bars, they're TSA friendly. So if you're a big traveler, you're yeah. always on the plane, you don't have to worry about taking it out of the bag because you have liquids. It's completely solid and right, water course. free. And these are bath products. Yes, yes. correct. And so we have our shampoo bars and conditioner bars. Again, great for travel because right. there's no liquid involved. So no spilling in your suitcase. Right. You're really in and out TSA <laughs> and they last super long. So tell us about what's to come. What's in the future? Well, in the future, we want to have to make our own store, and we want to inspire other people with disability, like uh, me, and we want to make that a big program. Mm. And uh, so, like I said, um, I want to inspire them and to make them inspired that they can also do it, not yeah. just us or you. Yeah, I love that. So you're going to make stores and you're going to also create programs? Is yeah. that what it is? Yeah, and then That's grow our products yeah. so it's an easy and accessible um, option for people to find low waste refillable skincare products. Oh, okay. you guys are so fantastic. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, so you so much, much. for coming so on much. Wake Up. It's been amazing. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Right, good luck. Thank you. When we come back, we learn how to elevate our morning routine with Coffee Toppers Cold Foam. Are you ready to move from chaos to clarity? Transform from the chaos of harmful patterns into the clarity of recovery with Marcy Hopkins. She shares her intimate stories of addiction to alcohol, attention, and the promise of a fresh start. She shines a light on the dark places of sexual, physical, and emotional abuse. By healing past trauma, making amends in relationships, walking in faith, and creating a joy-filled life, Marcy proves that there is a better way to live, even when it is challenging. Chaos to Clarity explains the journey of recovery, using an educational approach and personal stories to lead the reader through the process of becoming aware of their own personal patterns and habits. As the reader continues on a pathway to healing, they will find more joy, the ability to heal from the past, strength to break generational cycles, and ultimately they will live a life beyond their wildest dreams. Let Marcy show how to change the chaos of addiction into a new space of clear awareness and abundant joy. Order your copy now on Amazon.com or BarnesandNoble.com. Today we have a very special treat for all of you coffee enthusiasts out there, me included. We are going to talk about Coffee Toppers Cold Foam. It is the ultimate game changer for your morning brew or any time of day. I myself absolutely adore my coffee. And let me tell you, these coffee toppers take my coffee time to the next level. They are made with real dairy and come in five irresistible flavors. So let's talk about the flavors. First up, we have the salted caramel, which is right here, where the perfect balance of salty and sweet meets in a creamy cold foam. Next, we're going to indulge in the velvety smoothness of white chocolate, which I absolutely love, offering a mellow buttery sweetness in every sip. And for those nostalgic campfire vibes, try the marshmallow. This is so great. We're going to try it on the coffee in just a little bit. This is going to transport you to roasting marshmallows under the stars. And if you're craving something chocolatey, Melty Mocha, which is right here in the purple, is the one for you, providing a harmonious blend of smooth and chocolatey goodness. And for our classic lovers, we have Very Vanilla, which offers a creamy and delicate touch with a burst of that classic vanilla flavors. 
All right, now I have to try these. Okay, these foam toppers, I'm so excited about this. This is the very vanilla, and I'm actually gonna put it on chai tea. So I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. Look at this, oh my gosh. That is delectable. Mmm. So. Mmm. It just adds a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of flavor. It's not too heavy at all. It's delicious. Mmm. And imagine like the very vanilla on like a soda. That would be delicious just to top it off and just add a little flavor. Like a vanilla soda. I love that. Also, coffee, which is my favorite, we're going to try the marshmallow, all right? And imagine this, like on a hot cocoa, hot chocolate, that would be so delicious. Okay, now I'm just going to add a little bit to my coffee. Mm. Now this is iced coffee. You can have it on hot coffee, whatever it is that you like. And it just, again, adds just a little bit of flavor and you taste that marshmallow. Mmm. It's just a little bit of sweetness. It's not too much. And it really, really adds so much to our coffee experience. These delicious cold foam creations are available for purchase on Amazon, making it so easy for you to elevate your coffee experience. Each can of coffee toppers cold foam tops up to 20 drinks so you can enjoy cafe quality coffee in the comfort of your own home how wonderful is that and you're saving money so say goodbye to those long coffee shop lines and become your own barista with coffee toppers cold foam it's time to savor every sip and awaken your senses with the perfect touch of foam so cheers to a deliciously indulgent coffee experience Mm. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I know you could be anywhere, but you joined me today and I appreciate it. I had so many amazing guests. And if you want to find out more, please go to wakeupwithmarcy.com. Now let's talk about who's on the show next week. We first meet Mike Diamond, author, podcast host, TV personality, director, life coach, and interventionist. Mike will be sharing his powerful journey to sobriety and how he guides thousands on the path to recovery. Also, Lynn Walker, author of the gripping memoir, Midnight Calling. Lynn shares her profound journey from addiction to recovery, revealing her turning point towards self-discovery and redemption through her latest release, Breaking Midnight. But what was the turning point for you? And once you did make the decision to get sober, how did life change for you? Well, I like to start with my very carefree childhood, which was great roaming around a blue collar suburb of Southern Miami. I had a stay at home mom and dad was a highly successful undercover narcotics agent with what was then called the Bureau of Narcotics and Dangerous Drugs. It's now the DEA. And we had this, you know, very close family. Dad was very protective and loving. And then when I was eight, he snuck out of our house literally in the dark of night and left a note in the mailbox. And I would not find out what truly happened to him until I was in high school and he was in prison for smuggling 12,000 pounds of marijuana. And I had, by this time, I actually had already developed my own drug and alcohol problem. I think partly in response to the void he left yeah. in my life. And yeah. abandonment, yeah. right? Yeah. A yeah. lot of fatherless daughters mm -hmm. can relate yeah. to having a hole in your heart. The shame of your father. Yeah. And for all the craft cocktail enthusiasts out there, meet the dynamic duo behind Infuse and Booze, Amy McCall and Jamie Laybourne. Their brand offers cocktails and mocktail infusion kits that make creating delicious drinks at home a breeze. So this is our pina colada. People love this one. This one's got pineapple and oranges in it and coconut and fused sugar. It's mm. delicious. Yeah. So before and yes. after. Here we go. All right. So let's, let's try the mocktail. All about yummy flavor. Yes. You can kind of see it coming out. What do you have so. in it? Um, this one's boiling hot water is okay. what we start with, and then we put it in the fridge after we let it, you know, if you boil, have boiling hot water, let it sit out for maybe half a day, then put it in the fridge, let it get cold, shake it up a little bit always. Yeah. And then this is going to be a mocktail. So each um, shot I take out of this is technically concentrated water. Okay. So I like a two ounce shot, so let's. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to do two ounces. Two ounce do you shot. add anything else? Nope. 
No, so you'll be ready to go oh, with that. Go. Now, go can that. you yeah. do any of this in a in a frozen concoction? <laughs> um, yes, we have made a we have yes, done absolutely. this frozen. Um, yep, you would just do the same thing. Take your shot, put it in the blender, add your ice, whatever and it's mixture still is you're flavorful. using. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, so can so I that, try this that, one? You're you're gonna wanna, put the pineapple juice. You, oh, yeah, you're gonna okay, add yeah, the some people juice. do sip a lot of these straight. Okay, but we like to add a mixture some to some of the cocktails. So this is pineapple juice, yes. um, and this is gonna make a yummy pina colada for you. Yes. Ooh, I love a pina colada. Mm, you're gonna feel like you're sitting on the beach or poolside. Mm -hmm. And this is what I love. I mean. This is the dehydrated mm -hmm. fruits. Please join me every Wednesday on Instagram Live at 11 a.m. at Wake Up With Marcy, and we will talk about some incredible stuff. I have started this Instagram Live to offer wisdom and an inspiration through the week. So remember to be kind to yourself, kind to others, and wake up to all of your possibilities.